Folks, I've got here the Combini flight controller from Furious FPV. And uh, we're not actually going to dig into this flight controller in this video. What I'm actually here to show you is the thing at the end of this wire, which is this. It's a video transmitter and OSD board. And now it's intended for use with the Furious uh, Combini, but in theory, I suppose you could use it with any flight controller because it is just uses MSP protocol, similar to MWOSD or MinimOSD or whatever you, you know, whatever that thing is. Um, and um, what's really interesting about this and what I'm here to show you today is a new feature in Betaflight 3.0 that will let you program this OSD or any OSD, any minim OSD, or anything that uses serial without having to use this FTDI adapter here. Here's the FTDI header. What a hassle that is to have to pull out your FTDI adapter and have pins on here and plug it into the pins and power things up and power things down and flash them and so forth. You can actually now, just like you do uh, BL Heli ESC pass through, you can do pass through of a serial protocol to an attached device. And that could be an OSD like this, or it could be a GPS receiver, or it could be a, well, just anything you've got attached via serial. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do here. So here I've got the Combini, and it is plugged in via USB, and it's also got a battery ready to power it up. And the reason for that is that USB does not power the video transmitter and the OSD. So we're gonna to need to plug a battery in to bring this up, but we'll do that when the time is right. I'm gonna connect here and I'm gonna to go to my ports tab. And what I want you to see is that two of the ports have the MSP protocol active on them. In case you didn't know, MSP stands for, I think it's Multi-Wii Serial Protocol, and it is the protocol that's used to talk to the configurator GUI. It's also the protocol that's used to talk to the OSD. And if you have something like Easy GUI Configurator on your Android phone, that uses the MSP protocol. When BL Heli Suite does the motor configuration algorithm that it does, it uses MSP to talk to the flight controller. MSP is just a generic protocol that can be used to basically tell the flight controller to do anything you would want it to do. Change any configuration, spin the motors up, a whole bunch of other stuff that you can do programmatically instead of doing it you know, via the command line, for example, or via a configurator GUI. So MSP is on in two places here. One of them is for the configurator GUI, which is this app that I'm using right now to, 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 to configure the flight controller. And one of them is on UART1, which is being used to talk to the OSD. In the days of F1 boards, you only had two UARTs. So if you look at a NAS32, you'll see there's only UART1 and UART2. And that meant that if you wanted to use an OSD, you kind of had a conflict. You could put the USB port on UART 1 and the OSD on UART 2, and then you had no more UARTs. If you wanted to do something like a serial receiver or GPS, you just didn't have a UART to use. And so oftentimes you would see that the, uh, the OSD was put on soft serial, or you had to do a lot of shuffling around to get it to work. And one thing that people would do is they would put the OSD on UART 1. Well, wait a minute, isn't UART1 being used by the USB port? Yes, in fact, it is. And what would happen is if you have an OSD and USB on UART1 at the same time, then when you power up the OSD, you won't be able to use USB. They'll conflict with each other, they'll talk over each other, corrupt the signals, and it won't work. So you had to do this rigmarole where you had to disconnect power to the OSD in order to use the configurator and then plug it back in again before you fly. And thank God we don't fly F1 boards very much anymore. Yay. In the modern world with F3 boards and, and going forward, we usually have enough spare UARTs that we don't have to put the OSD and the, the USB port on the same uh, UART, okay? So here, we don't have to worry about conflict between the OSD and the USB port. You're gonna need to make a note of which UART your OSD is on. So in this case, the USB VCP is, use, is where I'm getting, connecting via USB, and that means that UART1 MSP is what's talking to my OSD. So in my case, UART1 is the one that's talking to my OSD. Good, got it, made a note of it. Then I'm gonna to go to the CLI, and I'm gonna type the command, serial pass-through, I'm going to enter a number here that corresponds to what UART my OSD is on. So in this case, my OSD is on UART 1, and the corresponding number is going to be 0. 
because programmers like to count from zero, not from one. So the first thing is always index number zero. And that's really confusing to us normal people, but you'll get used to it. If your OSD was on UART2, you would put serial pass through one. See, see how that works? So serial pass through zero, and then I'm gonna give a baud rate, which in this case, my OSD is programmed to talk at 115200 baud. And so that's what I'm gonna put, and I'm gonna hit enter. Betaflight now says, relaying data to the device on port zero, reset your board to exit serial pass-through mode. So now the flight controller is simply acting. It's at, remember when you would program your OSD and you would plug in an FTDI adapter? Well, Betaflight is basically pretending to be an FTDI adapter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect from the COM port. I'm going to open up my multi-we GUI and Oh, look at this. I'm going to connect to that same COM port. <gasps> and, oh, wait a second. I forgot a step. I can't connect to the COM port because I haven't plugged my battery in. I'm going to plug my battery in. Oh, and I'm talking to it. And I can do anything I would do normally over the FTDI adapter. I can flash this with Arduino. I can program it. But I never have to pull out the FTDI adapter and plug it in to those the header on the board and dig around in my copter to try to get at the FTDI port and all that nonsense. I, this just like the LHeli pass through, I can just pass through directly to the device. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? I said in my review of the Omnibus All-in-One that one of the things I really liked about it was that you didn't have to go through this nonsense, this stupid nonsense with MWSD and flashing an Arduino. And I got to tell you, this takes a tiny bit of the sting out of it. I still have to use Arduino to flash the firmware if I want to actually change some of the settings. But the biggest thing I don't have to do is screw around with hooking an FTDI adapter up to the board. And, and that really actually softens the blow just a little bit because you don't have to flash Arduino that much. And if you don't have to pull out the FTDI adapter, maybe flashing it with Arduino isn't that big of a deal. Anyway, there you go. So this is a cool feature. It is only in Betaflight. As far as I know, it's in Betaflight 3.0 only. I don't even think it's in one of the earlier versions. And you can use this to pass through serial to any serial device that's connected to any UART. So if you have a if you have a GPS module or anything, whatever whatever you've got hooked up to serial on your board, you can do pass through like this. And of course, MWOSD is probably the most common thing that people are going to do. But you name it, you can flash it, you can connect to it with serial, whatever you want to do. Very good tip. Thank you to the Betaflight devs for for giving us this, and thank you to Furious FPV. Uh, it was through them that I learned this method. Although, um, certainly they didn't invent it either. As far as I know, maybe, maybe they invented it. I don't know. <laughs> Happy flying.